So hello there, my name is Yuan Yuan Wang. I'm a guest professor with the Technical University of Munich and Chair of Data Science in Earth Observation. And today I will give a gentle introduction to Bayesian estimation in machine learning for Earth observation. But there will also be mathematical derivations for some of you who might also have some experience and background knowledge. Um, so without further ado, Let's start. So first of all, what do I mean by machine learning for Earth observation, right? Because Bayesian estimation can be applied in many different fields. So I'd like to start with an example. Here on the left-hand side, you see the Sentinel-2 image of the European Copernicus program. This is in Delhi of India. And our task is so-called the local climate zones classification. As you can see, the legend is shown on the right-hand side. The local climate zones actually describes the density and morphology of urban um, structures. And they are called local climate zones because researchers found that uh, these properties have a strong correlation with uh, urban heat output. But apparently there is no physical model, right, to describe the mapping from image pixel values to urban classes. That's why we have to train a machine learning model in order to do so. So here is the result that applying a trained machine learning model on this kind of data. As you can see, the rivers are very well distinguished, as well as, as you can see, lots of hum small human settlements around this big urban agglomerations, right? So this is an example of a classification problem. And another example is a segmentation problem. So different from classification problem, segmentation is, let's say, a binary classification on a pixel-wise level. So here is the planet scope image uh, from Planet Labs of Munich, here in the resolution around three to five meter. So with such kind of image and many of them, and also binary building labels, for example, from OpenStreetMap, we are able to train a model and segment individual building footprints from this image in a very high resolution. So last but not least, Another type of uh, typical problem in machine learning for Earth observation is uh, called a regression problem. So we want to estimate the continuous variable from our input data. So here is a Sentinel-2 image of Munich. And from a regression machine learning model, we're able to estimate canopy height from an input image. Here you can see the tree heights of individual pixels so that we don't have to go to the field and really estimate, really uh, measure the tree height. Right, so in long words short, what we are doing is to estimate our signal of, of interest X from the input, usually in the form of images, via an inverse model, or let's say a general model F. And I put, the, um, I put the hat over the signal X here to indicate that it is an estimate, it is noisy. And of course, now a, a natural question is how can we obtain the best estimate of x given uh, the input y because the measurement is expensive and uh, the out output earth observation products are being used in many important applications, right? So what is the optimal estimator of x? So maybe here we consider a very simple um, scenario where our model is purely deterministic and linear. So this means that here, our measurement y is equal to the multiplication of the, the model matrix k with our signal x and plus some measurement noise. And we can assume the noise is Gaussian. So um, here maybe this is a homework for you or you can pause the video for a few minutes and work it out. What is the optimal estimator for x in this scenario?